Just we follow up now, Savannah's history dates back to the 1700s, of course, with much of the city's story told through our buildings. The city is hoping to preserve some of that history by revising its demolition policy. And WSAV's Brian Ray is joining us live downtown to explain the changes. So, Brian, how does this change the fate of several historic sites in our city? Ben Tina, good evening. This building right here on Lincoln Street has been standing here since 1853, but it's now set to be demolished. The Historic Savannah Foundation says this has happened to a number of historic buildings in the city in the past year. They believe the city's new policy is a step in the right direction, but believe more needs to be done. In December 2021, we brought you to Bethel AME Church as it was being torn down. Following the church's removal, the city revised its demolition guidelines for buildings outside a historic district, requiring building observations to be shared with the Metropolitan Planning Commission and Historic Savannah Foundation. Uh, it's a step in the right direction. Um, uh, HSF would like to see um, changes to the zoning ordinances, though. I think we would like to see something enshrined in an ordinance or a local law. Um, that maybe would provide for more protections. Down the road in Savannah's historic district is 9 Lincoln Street. According to meeting records, a recorder court judge ordered the building to be torn down, citing a structural engineer's findings that the building is, quote, dangerous and unsound. During the vote in early February, members of the historic district board of review said it was not their desire and, quote, they wish additional efforts were made for alternative plans. The court decision supersedes the, the local review process, which is unfortunate. We don't think it should be that way. The city's director of planning and urban design says they will continue to build on the new policy to have a more robust demolition protection program for all historic buildings. It's our first step in, in trying to provide more transparency to the community and to do more to, to protect that, that vital history that we have. Just because you walk through the landmark district and you see all these beautifully restored homes and the squares doesn't mean that things still aren't vulnerable, that we still can't lose important historic buildings downtown. We can. Unlike the church torn down in December, we do know that this building will be reconstructed, meaning that the historic materials will be saved. That was a condition from the downtown historic district board. Live in downtown Savannah, Brian Ray, WSAV News 3 on your side.